in a previous video, I talked about um, sharing your screen from a Collaborate Ultra session. In that video, I was using only a single monitor and it is not as easy and it's not as effective as when you have dual monitors. As you can see now, I have an external monitor plugged into um, my laptop. So the left hand screen is my laptop screen and the right hand screen is the external monitor. As you can see on the on the right hand screen, I have already opened um, a PDF document with the exercises that I might want to discuss in my Collaborate Ulcer session. And also I have opened the um, LibreCAD application that my students would be using to draw those um, those exercises. And on, on the left hand screen, the laptop screen, I have Chrome open and Chrome has three tabs currently. It has a Blackboard tab, a Monash tab and a YouTube tab. And I also have my File Explorer open. So once you've opened all the application windows that you want to, to use during your Collaborate Ultra session, then you can go into Blackboard Collaborate and start your session. In this case, I have no scheduled sessions. So I'm going to just use the course room, which is a session that is kind of always available for both students and staff to just jump into whenever they need to. So I'm going to join the course room. And as you can see, I'm now in the course room, but I'm the only one in the room. Again, I'm not going to worry to turn on my mic or my, or my video because there's nobody else to, to hear to see me or to, to hear me. The Collaborate panel here on the bottom right allows us to access a number of resources and tools. As mentioned before, this is the, 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 text, sorry, the text panel. People can chat using text in this panel. And I find that many of my students prefer to just keep their mic off and then to either answer questions or ask questions by typing something in this text panel. So I generally keep this panel open. The participant list panel here lists all the participants in the current session and has some tools that allows you to change their permissions, etc. And then there's the share content panel. And there's a, an option to share a blank whiteboard which you can draw on and depending on the, how you've set up the permissions your st the other participants in the session can also draw on that or not. You can share files such as PowerPoint files or PDF documents etc and then what we want to talk about this morning is the share application screen. So when I click on that I now get the option of sharing there are three basic options here. There's your entire screen, the application window, or a Chrome tab. Okay. Now, for example, I could go to the Chrome tab, and it shows the four tabs that are currently open in, um, in Chrome. So I could share a specific tab from Chrome if I wanted to do that. In addition, it's currently showing, if I, if I choose the application window option, it is showing the four applications that I currently have open, which is the PDF Reader, my LibreCAD, Chrome, and the File Explorer. So, for example, if I wanted to share the LibreCAD application, I could click on that and say Share. And now you'll see that on the left-hand screen, um, we can see... LibreCAD inside Collaborate Ultra and on the right hand screen I can see LibreCAD. So on the right hand screen I can drive LibreCAD and I can do things in there and whatever I'm doing there you're seeing replicated in the left hand screen in Collaborate Ultra. So this is what the students are seeing or the participants in the session are seeing. So this is one of the big advantages of having the dual screen, the second monitor is that in the one monitor I can I can drive my Collaborate Ultra session. I can go back to the chat panel and I can see if the students are asking questions or answering my questions, that sort of thing. 
and I can make sure that I'm that that what the students are seeing is what I want them to be seeing. And then in the right hand monitor, I can actually drive the application that I want to to share with them. So if I then want to switch to the um, the PDF reader to talk about one of the exercises, I would now have to stop sharing and then come back to the sharing options share application screen choose an application window and then choose the pdf document and say share and as you'll see now on the right hand screen um, we've now the pdf document has come to the foreground and in the left hand screen you're seeing the pdf document within the collaborate ultra session and if i scroll the pdf document on the right hand screen you see it scrolling inside the collaborate ultra session on the on the left hand screen now this this works really well and as i said it helps to to be able to see to be able to drive an application and at the same time see what the participants in the collaborate ultra session are doing or are seeing and what they might be saying um, in the chat panel at the same time if you want to frequently switch between two applications so when i run um, live sessions with my drawing students i want to have the the pdf document open and i want to have the libracad and i want to be able to switch quickly between them if you look at the moment if i go onto my right hand screen here and i select the libracad application and i choose that it comes to the foreground but what happens on the left hand screen doesn't change because I have chosen to share the PDF application window, not the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to here so we make sure that we're the same. So another option that we have, I'm just going to stop sharing this application and come back here to share content and then share application screen. And here I have the option to choose your entire screen. And, and because I have two monitors, the, the laptop's built-in monitor and the external monitor plugged in, I now have an option of two sc screens, what Collaborate Ultra calls a screen, I've been calling a monitor. Um, so if I choose to share screen two and then say share, then what we're seeing in Collaborate Ultra is what's on my right-hand monitor, screen two. And if I switch over here from the PDF to the LibreCAD, you see it switch immediately in the Collaborate Ultra session. So I can switch backwards and forwards between the two applications quickly and easily and discuss with those students. Again, I would typically go back to the chat panel here in Collaborate so that I can see what they're saying. And I can then um, look at the, the exercises and then say, okay, how are we going to draw this thing? and go back to LibreCAD and demonstrate how we draw it and flip back to the, the exercise question again if I need some additional information, flip back to LibreCAD. And I find that this works really, really well to be able to share multiple applications, switch easily between those applications, drive an application in the right-hand screen but see what's happening in the left-hand screen inside the Collaborate Ultra session and also to be able to monitor what the students are saying in the chat panel so that you can answer their questions or if you ask a question as i say many students prefer to answer your questions in text rather than um, audibly but you, then you can see those those answers all right i hope you find this helpful um, and thanks for watching